Cheerwine Legend Zone. These are my new friends, the West Versailles Titans. They played in the game of the week. We'll have those highlights coming up a little later. Let's go to the first game of the night, shall we? This one, Paige and Rakin. Kickoff started 22 minutes late during traffic because Paige got stuck in it. But this traffic, James Ellis. Ties the ball game up with a touchdown. The pass is from Will Jones. And then Javon Leak says, dude, what traffic. Three-yard touchdown for them. And then Reagan would not go away. Ben Skratsky says, hey, guys, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going left. And he goes all the way in for the touchdown. This one with a shootout. Left, touchdown. right, left, right. Page wins it 56 to 50, the final. All right, how about Mount Tabor at North Versailles? Tabor's starting this one out with Isaiah Jones. He just walks into the end zone. A lazy stroll. Oh, late hit. Seven zip, Tabor. Then North Forsyth, Anthony Hicks to Derek Williams. Nice in the end zone. Very well, young man. Seven to seven. Then just a little bit later, it is Teddy Christakos to Tommy Solikowski. Sokolowski. It's tough names. Thanks for the help. Mount Tabor wins this one, 47 to 13, as you saw. Now, RJ Reynolds, the client, is next. And we start things out with RJ's own Jeremiah Brown. He fumbled. It's recovered by Elijah Jennings in Glenn territory. And then DJ Miller. Have more footwork, young man. DJ, wow. It's 28 zip, Glenn. Then RJR's Jake Lang. Meet Monte Travis the, for the sack. And then Glenn's own Stephen Brown. The pass to DJ Miller. If it works once, it works twice. Glenn goes on to win this one. 42 to 7. The final. Next, Ashbrook at Parkland. And Jabriz Robs is the man you need to watch out for. He gets it to Zandre Givens. That makes it eight zip Ashbrook. Then, Zabriz Robs, a 40 yard touchdown pass to Zabriz Givens. 14 to zip Ashbrook goes on to win this one with a final score of 35 to 7. Next, shall we? Eastern Elements and Moorhead. Let's go to those highlights, shall we? So Moorhead's quarterback starts this one out. Will Dabbs passes to Mike Jones. He takes this one 20 yards for the touchdown. Moorhead strikes first. Then it's Eastern Alamance saying not so fast. John Lamott finds Trace Bozeman. That ties things up 7-7. Seven to seven. Then Eastern Alamance, man, they're going to later come back strong in the second half. Foul score, Eastern Alamance 31, Moorhead 13. Also a quick congratulations to Eastern Alamance's head coach, John Kirby. 200th career win. Eastern Alamance again, 31 to 13. Next, McMichael at Rockingham County. Go Cougars, right? Or go Phoenix. Rockingham starts out Jackie Moore, the third. Not one, not two, the third. Gets it to Eric Reichenbach. He turns it into 20 yards for a touchdown. Rockingham County's up by 13. But McMichael says, hold up. We got Jake Kemp. He finds Ty Hundley. Ty Hundley says, I think I want the end zone. Mom's making him breakfast in the morning. Trails by six at that point. Then Rockingham County's quarterback, Jackie Moore, the third, yep. hangs on to this one. A short little run untouched. Cougars up by 13. And then McMichael, Jake Kemp, not to be outdone, says, anything you can do, I can do better, right? Now trailing by seven as he goes on in. So the very next play, the kick return for Rockingham County. William McCain says, Oh, no, everybody's around me. I better go away from him. He goes all the way down, nearly 70 yards. He goes by. This one, Rockingham County wins it 53 to 27. Are you kidding me? Next, that says clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Where's Tim Riggins when you need him? Because Thomasville at Starmouth, Starmouth starts out, Brandon Prescott gets the touchdown. It's six zip. Then Thomasville's on Shaquan Wide, hands off to DJ Span. Span goes 40. Five yards. Change lanes without your blinker, young man. He keeps going all the way in, and that makes the score seven to six. So then on the kick return, Star Mouth on Brandon Prescott. Oh, behave, young man. This guy, 83 yards. Are you kidding me? Somebody get him an oxygen mask. He's going to need it right to where it says state chance behind him. It was a good 1998 team, by the way. Star wins at 14 to 13. Next, Forbush at East Wilkes, and this one starts it out. East Wilkes on Chris Ward scrambles and then passes to Mr. Devin Couch. He's taken out right next to the sofa. See what I did there? The 20-yard line, and then East Wilkes not done yet. East Ward 
Man, Chris Ward chucked it to Andrew Nance. Nance, a 20-yard touchdown run, 34 to 7 East Wilkes. You know, if it works, they always say you just keep doing that. So Chris Ward hands it off to Andrew Nance. He runs in yet another touchdown. Front flip, please. Thank you. East Wilkes wins it 48 to 15. Man, I need a breath. These guys don't. Coming up, we've got so much more and the game of the week with these awesome folks. It's Friday night. Stick around.